Alright, dear ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to Doodle Date, a game that came out quite a while ago, and I was supposed to play it, but for some reason didn't. So, here I am now. I think it's a game where you get to draw your own date, and then just go on like a little text-based date adventure with them. I don't think it's very long either, so let's try it out. Let's see what kind of abomination date we can create. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud. Jesus Christ. Hold on, game. Alright. Me. Summer vacation ended, and as usual, I remained single throughout it. No one loves me! No summer flings, no beach parties, just me and a whole lot of masturbating. Oh, TV and video games. Uh, yeah, same. Even my 18th birthday wound up being a fluke. So here I was, back at school and back to hearing about everyone else's summer exploits. Good thing it's my last year of high school. Hopefully in college I won't have to put up with this kind of crap. Oh. Oh, sweetheart, you got a big storm coming. <laughs> For now, it's just back to idle doodling. Just as I was opening my notebook, I heard a strange voice coming from inside the pages. Oh, sweet Jesus. Hey there! It was one of my old drawings. I couldn't believe it. She was talking. I can't believe it's you! We were worried sick! We thought you'd never come back! Who's we? But what? Come back from where? Beats me! You used to draw on our pages all the time, and suddenly you left! No matter now, you're back! Come on in, creator! <laughs> That's me! I am a content creator! I prefer to be a hashtag influencer, honestly. <laughs> Before I could reply, I suddenly found myself being pulled into the pages of my notebook by a mysterious force! What is happening? Creator! Influencer, I told you! If I- if I go to you guys and be like, Don't do drugs! Now see whether you do them or not, I have influenced that decision. Influencer! <laughs> Welcome to Doodle World! The place where all of your wonderful creations come to life, including me! I don't know. I kind of gave up on your face, didn't I? Drew a rockin' bod and then I was like, you know what, meh. Thanks for that! I enjoy existing! <laughs> Me too, Claire, me too. <laughs> That's my constant state of being. Existing. <laughs> Let's keep an eye on my mic as well, because it keeps cutting out all the time. Are you, are you... You doing good? Is this thing on? To demonstrate, I have brought you to one of our blank pages. What? Bring me back to the real world this instant. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, let's loosen up those... Oh. Let's loosen up those calves. <laughs> GET ON THE GROUND AND GIVE ME 20! Draw your favorite fruit. Hmm. Ma what is my favorite fruit? Is it apple? No. Definitely not an orange. I'm not an orange fan. Um, unless we count orange justice from Fortnite. My favorite dance. Um, what am my favorite? I think pineapple is my favorite fruit. Pineapple tastes great. Let's, let's draw a pineapple. Oh god, it's all, it's all edgy. Can I, can I have the stabilization tool? These lines are aliased as fuck! I'm a real artist. Okay, that's- that's part of my pineapple. We'll draw the hair. Kinda of looks like a person. It looked like me when I had green hair. And anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. Even a pineapple. Okay, let's draw- let's get a little lattice going on. A little grid. I know what you're thinking! Jack, that don't look like no frickin' pineapple! Well, hold on to your butts, amigos! It's about to get litty. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't it looking like a pineapple now? Yes, it sure is. If you eat pineapple every day, then you will have, you will have eaten pineapple every day. A pineapple a day is a pineapple a day. Pineapple. I'm proud of that one. That's a good one. Wow, that looks delicious and fucking huge. <laughs> You sure know how to draw! Hey, baby, when it comes to pineapples, I got you covered. Not very lively, though, is it? Says the monochromatic weirdo. Why don't we try creating a person we can talk to? You know, like me, that you've already created! Make sure it's a cute one. You never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Claire! Are you coming out to me? Are you monochromatically blush- blushing? Not- not that I'm implying-
trying anything. Huh. This hug hug a bird in love inside of me. My relationship with you is strictly professional. Prostitution is a profession. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Draw yourself up a dream date. Dream daddy. Who's gonna be your dream? All right, who's gonna be my dream daddy? Uh, what, what does a dream date look like for me, huh? Hmm, what do I like in a dream date? Okay, I like a head. I'm just, just drawing a pineapple again. <laughs> the pineapple is my dream date. Um, nice head. Big, beautiful eyes. There we go. <laughs> yes, a little button nose. Why is it doing this? G give me the little button nose. Yep, good. And then a big mouth. All the more to kiss you with. Okay, okay, fill in that mouth. All right, big, luscious lips. And big, beautiful teeth. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> what is it? It's an abomination. All right, and then lots of luscious, luscious locks. Yes, oh, beautiful hair. Parted in the middle. Yeah. I call her Helga. <laughs> She's a beast. Draw your dream date set. Oh my god. It's hard enough to draw my dream date normally. I drew them happy when I meant to draw them sad. All right, let's, oh god, all this fucking hair. Okay. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus, this is horrible. <laughs> That's not sad. That's questioning existence. Draw your dream date shy. Am I gonna have to draw this for every single emotion? Perfect, glorious, look at that hair. Let it flow all over the place. <laughs> it doesn't even look like the same character anymore. There you go, beautiful tongue. <laughs> Just looks like something wrong with your face. Ah, there we go, Helga. The hair really brings you all back together again. <laughs> Angry. Uh, oh, creator, that is simply stunning. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, what are you waiting for? I let you two get to know each other a little better. <laughs> oh no! Oh, sweet mother of God! <laughs> Burn it, please! I can't look at it. What emotion was this again? Oh no, sketchy. Okay, yeah, you look fucking sketchy. <laughs> Ooh, my dream date. Please sign me the fuck up. Hello! <laughs> um, hi. Thanks for making me. You're uh, welcome. Even my character in game isn't sure. I didn't have much choice. Do you know how we can leave this place? Uh, you want to leave? So soon after making me? Oh, you hate me, don't you? Oh, Jesus fucking- that's a red flag right there, okay? If you meet anyone in life who's immediately questioning everything you do, like, Oh, do you wanna go over here? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I bet you'd like me better if my hair was short! Yeah, that's an alarm bell. Get the fuck away from that person. You do not want to be in a, in a relationship with that person. Of course- oh, that's me. Of course not. I don't hate you at all. I just need to get back to my own world. I don't even know how I got here. How did we get here? Have you guys heard about the Jacksepticeye How Did We Get Here Live Show Comedy World Tour? It's right here. You can get your tickets right now at jacksepticeyetour.com. <laughs> Robin, can we just get some shameless plugs on screen? There we go. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm sure you just have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? Well, about that. I mean, no. I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. Because if you stay, you might have one date lined up right now. <laughs> you look like a South Park character. <laughs> don't look at me with those sexy eyes. What? I, I, I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me. I'd never been with someone so beautiful before. <laughs> You, you sure about that? <laughs> Take another look, me. <laughs> Holy fucking god. Hey! Eyes up here! <laughs> Eyes up, soldier! Oh, Jesus Christ. 
You're as beautiful as the day I drew, drew you. So, what will it be, big shot? Oh god, should I say yet? Should I stay or should I go? Ugh. You know what? I'm on Mr. Bowen's wild ride. I might as well stay on it and see where this fucking crazy train goes to. I mean, I suppose I could stay here a bit longer. Especially if it means you and I could, you know, do the horizontal orange justice. <laughs> yes! Hang out. Just say it, you weirdo! Oh, yeah, I'm the fucking weirdo here. Date. Oh my god, I'm blushing. Bingo, bango, my name is Django. Yes, I'd love to go on date. So, how does dating work in this world exactly? I've been here for five minutes and I'm already dating something that I created myself. I don't know if you want to date your creator. That'd be like me dating God. I hear he's very picky. Here, let me show you. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, where are we exactly? Out to a fancy restaurant, of course. I want our first date to be classy. This is super classy. We got bananas and pears, a fork, and some grapes. It looks exactly like where we were before, just a blank page. That's because you haven't drawn anything, silly. Use your imagination brain hole and I now go on draw us up a waiter. Alright, what does my waiter look like? Okay, he's got a- he's- he's got a- a square-ish face. Um... He's also got a- a chin dimple ass face. Um... Cause he's going to be super handsome! Um, he's got... Some of these eyes going on. He's got like... Oh, come on, why are you not working? He's got this kind of nose, and he's also got like a... Ha! Ah, this is my face! Ha ha ha! Um, what kind of hair does he have? Let me give him a, like a... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to remove some of this. That's not how it works. Shit balls. Okay, I can fix this. I can fix this. Hand me my brushes! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, and he's got like a fucking Corey Taylor neck on him. And he's got like a fucking massive Adam's apple. All the more to speak to you with. Does he need like little eyes? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at those bad boys pop! <clears throat> he's got like, he's even got like muscular cheeks. Oh, you're so hot, I wanna bang you. Maybe that should be his voice. Um, and he's just got like the burliest of arms. Oh! Fuck yeah! And he's got some like collarbones in here. He's got massive pecs. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah! That's my dude! There's my fucking dream daddy. <laughs> Look at that fine chunk of spam. Okay, I wanna- I wanna elongate your pecs. I wanna- I wanna Elon Musk your pecs. Oh my god, I'm crying out of the sheer beauty that is this man. Um, and that's your arm. Oh, what's up? It's me, Chad, your waiter. Fuck yeah. That's gonna be him. Well, hello there, good looking. What can I get for you? <laughs> me? <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Good looking! I said draw as a waiter, not a flirt! You just can't help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? Well, I drew you, so that's a big fucking lie. What? No, I, I don't mean to, I swear! Uh-huh, sure! Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous! I didn't. <laughs> Go on then! Tell our accidentally, remarkably buff and super handsome, really sculpted goddess of a man waiter exactly what it is uh, he can get for you. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what's up? What would you like? <laughs> what can I get for you? Favorite fruit? Or we would like a moment alone. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, you and me a moment alone, or me and fucking Baron Von Fucked Up Face? I would like a moment alone with you, Captain Crimson Chin. 
Um, favorite fruit? Maybe if you pick pineapple, we are destined to be together. My uh, favorite fruit, please. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Nothing but the finest cuisine for you. I hear it's quite the mouthful. I tried to make him look like Johnny Bravo. I didn't really succeed in the hair department, but everything else is ha hoo ha. Man, I'm pretty. Oh, maybe that's the voice you should give him. Oh wait, quite the mouthful. I get it. You're trying to give me some bananas. Nice move. I really feel like my concerns were addressed. <laughs> this is my shot face. You said to order something. Don't you understand subtext? Can't you read my beautiful, gorgeous mind? Never mind, you know what? This whole thing was a bad idea. I jumped into this too soon. I should have known better. I'm sorry. Baby! Please! Don't go! I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I've never gone on a date with someone before. <laughs> I mean, I haven't either. Having only recently come into existence about five minutes ago. Well, that's really concerning. Chris Hansen's gonna show up at my door any second. Why don't you come on in and uh, have a seat real quick? But I know better than to flirt with the waiter on a first date, at least. It's not like I wasn't born yesterday, because I was born five minutes ago. I didn't flirt with the waiter. They just came into existence flirting. I don't know yet how the creation process works. Fine. I suppose we can try starting over. We talked throughout the evening about whatever we could. Small talk about the non-existent weather, favorite foods, who really was our favorite punk ska band, and if we really wanted to do the do and have 2D paper babies. It wasn't much, but I could tell we were starting to bond like some fine glue and paper. Finally, the night came to an end and we parted ways. I drew myself up a bath, and then also an apartment, to stay the night in, and I slept like a sweet baby deer in the comfiest bushes. Oh, the comfiest bed I could imagine. Sorry, I'm a country boy, that's where my brain goes. Literally, I think I could get used to this place. Really? Real world's pretty good. Off to snoozy sleepies I go. Oh, Claire, you're back. Good morning, sunshine. How was your first day in Doodle World? Well, not too good, Claire, I'm gonna tell you. It was a bit weird. Say no more! I can tell by your tired expression that it went fantastic! What's that supposed to mean, Claire? Wait, what's this do? Oh, it continues the dialogue. Never mind. Shit! Crap. It's time to get up, sleepyhead! Rise and grind, gamers! Where are we dropping? And more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. Please God, no. I think I saw them at my window last night. I didn't know if I was hallucinating or having a really bad nightmare. Either way, none of those are good. But why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life, silly. Ugh, how are you so sure? Because you created them as such, silly. I mean, I created you too, right? I mean, God created us apparently, and he's no fucking where to be seen. <gasps> oh, so <gasps> Disney! Oh, so I can't say I'm sure what you're getting at. Wagata. Moving on, I have arranged for you and your dream date to meet at Doodle Park within the hour. Draw yourself up something nice to wear and let's get going. What do I want to wear on this date? Um, could draw up like a suit or something? Nah, suit's boring. Let's draw... Okay, let's draw... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Yep, uh-huh. Why does the fucking pencil not work half the time? Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, there we go. A sweet, sexy mankini. That's where my belly is inside the mankini. These are straps. So it goes up the front and has a, sh a supremely deep v-neck. I was gonna say, supremely deep knee-veck. That doesn't make any sense. And this, of course, is where the package goes. The package that I'm dropping. There we go. Perfect for a date. 
I know, impressed, right? Those look like shit! <laughs> Thanks, Claire. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely not wearing those. Tell you what, just keep what you're wearing already. Fashion isn't your strongest suit. A suit! That's what we'll get you! What are you talking about? My fashion is great! Fuck you, Claire. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you think you're better than me just because you're wearing a pair of skinny jeans and a nice little top? Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and would you look at the time? We've only got 45 minutes to get to your date. Holy shit balls! Let's get a move on! Okay, do I really have to? Here we are. Have fun, you two. I'll try. And it looks like the park is another blank page. Suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. God, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What's up, Sketchy? Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Hey there! Somebody wake up on the wrong side of the bed! No, it's a single bed. I don't really have different sides to wake up on. Plus, both sides of my bed and my tiny paper apartment both lead to the exact same place. I mean, we live in a 2D world of- whatever, you'd never understand. You have a 2D brain. No! No, sorry. Still getting used to everything being a blank slate here. I actually haven't slept better in years. He lied. I, uh, I had fun with you last night. I didn't. <laughs> I dreamt of you, Sketchy. I dreamt that you were standing over me and I was horrified in fear as flames consumed me and I vomited all over myself. Yeah, me too! <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I, I don't know, get up, run away, as far away as possible, run into the fiery pits of hell. You know, anything's better than this. Go on a walk, yes. Sit and chill. I can't chill with this face around. Go on a walk. Maybe I can fucking ditch this weirdo. Hey, yeah, I suppose we could go on a walk. View the, uh... Natural beauty of this place. And a view, of course, my sweetie pie. That sounds nice. We walked in silence for a long while, aimlessly stepping through pages, occasionally admiring stray flying scribbles that whizzed by overhead. Finally, I broke the tension. So, what sorts of things have you been doing lately? I mean, I know you're a recent drawing, but do you have any hobbies? Anything you like? Dislike? Well, since last night I decided to simply explore the wonders that are the human figure. I find I like walking along the lines of the paper, right on the fucking edge between good and bad, and you know that I am a bad person. And for some reason, I've been craving fruit ever since my inception. Is it pineapple? But, more than anything, I have been craving the soft, supple warmth of your figure. I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Do you think something is wrong with me? Yeah, your face. <laughs> is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours? And is thus hollow to begin with? You know what, you're probably right. This game has probably something got to do with uh, my relationship with my parents. Some sort of psychologist is watching this episode and being like, hmm, yes, very interesting. Yeah, tell me more about your dad. That's, uh, that's heavy. I'm 14 and this is deep. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> On the other hand, you're really cute. Sketchy. Come on, you're making, making me blush. Sketchy reached out to hold my hand. They smiled at me as they clasped down. Do you... Do you think I'm cute? Oh, God. Uh, of course, or you're more than cute. Oh, God. I can't pick no. Yeah, Sketchy, you're a... You're super cute. <laughs> Oh. Super cute. Sorry, I just puked in my mouth and had to swallow it again. Last night's vindaloo really did taste good. Of course! Of course, I think you're at uh, adorable. I mean, even though I drew you, I feel like you brought kind of a new light to your own appearance. You have a certain glow about you. So does urine in the moon moonlight, but whatever. Sketchy blushed, or at least I think they did. Well, shucks! That's awfully sweet of you to say, candy ass. 
Sketchy's grip grew tighter as they leaned towards me. My heart began racing as their graphite lips drew closer to mine. Not more fucking graphite, okay? I watched enough Japanese commercials to know that graphite can be everywhere. It can be a facet of your everyday life. Snitch! Did that do it for you? Are you feeling the warmth and fiery passion of romance right now? Sketchy laid their lips on mine, and without thinking, I kissed back. We held our kiss for what felt like ages. Time and space were merely a construct at this point, and my body was weak, overcome with a warm feeling. Finally, the kiss was laid to rest, after my hope in humanity. After what felt like a blissful eternity, I only wish it could have lasted forever. Ahem! Yeah? <laughs> I, uh, I'd better get going! No? What's the rush? No! Honey, please, stay a while. This all feels like it's moving so fast. I think I just need to... I need to lie down for a bit, yes? And please never get back up. Oh, I see. Don't feel bad, I'll... I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, more than that. Tomorrow, tomorrow is a lie. It's an illusion, we're actually never getting there. Sketchy let go of my hand and walked away. I could still feel their phantom kiss, punished snake, which kept my spirit up as my weight, <laughs> as I made my way back to my apartment. <laughs> Just realized, what if you don't get that reference? That's a reference to Metal Gear Solid 5, the phantom pain. <laughs> I think I'm really starting to like this place. <laughs> I'm not. Place is creepy as fuck. I had just arrived back at my apartment when suddenly I heard a familiar voice come from my bedroom. <laughs> Scoutmaster Kevin? Oh. It's Claire. Hi Claire. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely that I'm never going home. Stuck in here. Looking at these put drawings that I created life and now I want to kill myself. Turn around. Mono eyes! Every now and then I fall up. <laughs> I've gone crazy here in the paper world. Write back to my loved ones. Tell them that I no longer feel pain. I no longer feel joy. I no longer feel anything at all. For you see, I am dead inside. Sincerely, depression. <laughs> the fucking clip where it was like, I got off the flight and I came outside and a wave of heat hit me in the face and I... I thought, oh, it must be warm here, but no, it turns out, depression. <laughs> Something like that fucking got me so bad. Hello again! God, you scared me half to death, and I was already halfway there, so... Rip. Why are you in my bedroom? To ask how your date went, of course. It went great, actually. Why are you so invested? I, uh, I just want to see you happy, is all. I'm... Very interested in knowing if you are getting the love you deserve. Creator! Claire, be honest with me. Do you... Do you have feelings for me? What? No! No, of course not! I'm simply interested in your well-being. Creator! I want you to find your true love. And your true love is obviously your... Dream date! Sketchy! After all, you drew them that way. You do love it. Sketchy! Don't you? Oh. I do love Sketchy, but... What if I love you, Claire? What if all this time it was just a ruse? What if all this time it was really your big, beautiful, black, beady eyes that really got stirrings down south? I mean... What if my true love is you, Claire? After all, you're the one who brought me here. And, I don't know, things with Sketchy aren't set in stone. If anything, my relationship with Sketchy is a little bit sketchy. We're still figuring out what we are. I, a human going through issues. They, a paper drawing that was drawn yesterday, has no idea what existence is. It's just too complicated. Oh, that's crazy talk, creator! Is it so crazy, Claire? After all, you do keep showing up in my room. Don't you feel the same way? 
What if it is crazy? Is that so crazy after all? I... I... Oh, to hell with it! Claire suddenly threw herself upon me, kissing me passionately with the fire of a thousand suns. For a brief moment before pulling herself away, and for a brief moment, I felt like a human for the first time. Oh my! I... I shouldn't have done that. No! Claire! You should have. Well... In that case... I'm yours. I started to sweat as Claire lay down on my bed and told me to do 20 squats. So go ahead! <laughs> draw, draw me like one of your French girls! <laughs> as they say... <laughs> draw sexy Claire! <laughs> Oh! Whoa, well, baby! You're giving me the vapors! Okay. Sounds like you're so saying, draw sex eclair. Like I have to draw an eclair that I want to have sex with. Mm-mm. Okay, how did- how did Claire even look? Okay, so her hair was like- like this. Okay, that- that's a good start, okay? She's- she's got great hair. Give her a real Ramona Flowers look. Um, her eyes were like- Black dots, and she had lines underneath them. She had a weird mouth! She had a weird, like, snake mouth. You look like a snake! Um, and this was, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a big fucking nope for me, dog. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, she had little blushies going on. Okay. She had a big, long, lanky, slender body. Bitch, I got extendos. Um... Yes. Sure! Sexy, Claire! Sexy, indeed. What makes her sexy? Oh, she had big, bountiful bosoms. I, I, I cannot forget her big old boobles. Um... All right, they they came out they came out beyond her shirt because she was definitely wearing that shirt to impress me. It, they did not connect in the middle like a fucking tube that you go into the beach with. They also did not go different ways. They they call her Quasimodo boobs. You know, one eye looking for you, one eye looking at you. Um sure. Sure. There. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Sexy Claire! <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, Jesus. No! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my therapist is definitely going to make a lot of money off of this. I stood back and looked at Claire's newfound body. I shuddered and a drop of sweat dripped down my forehead. It was so hot. Can you feel it? Can you feel the mood? Can you feel the mood getting sexier in here? Oh yeah! Oh, I can feel the mood rising! I jumped into bed with Claire, and we began to touch one another's bodies in ways I'd never experienced before. Because, you know, me being a human and her being not real. My hands, my lips, my ass, my body, my pussy and my crack, all shared with Claire's, interchanging, intermingling. It was both thrilling and fucking absolutely terrifying. I got a lot of paper cuts. But throughout the night, our explorations continued. I am highly uncomfortable right now. Was I doing the right thing? I had no idea, but I didn't care. I threw caution to the wind and also my junk. I don't remember when we fell asleep, but eventually I woke up the next morning to the sound of Claire's voice. Rise and cry, Gamer! Good morning, sunshine! Mm. Good morning! Uh, what time is it? What year is it? Robin Williams Jumanji quote? You sure ask a lot. You sure ask that a lot. It's worth noting that there's no real scale for time here. The night and day we've experienced is entirely a construct you brought with you when you arrived. Time is only a construct. Time is a construct created by the government to keep tabs on us to really know when we have to rise and grind and drop in Fortnite. It all makes so much sense now! But according to your construct, it's noon. Huh. So if there's no time here, I guess I'm not 
missing anything in the outside world, huh? I could stay here. Living forever. Oh no, not at all. Your body will still age in your world. Even faster, in fact. Wait, what? Oh, before I forget, I made you breakfast. Claire presented me, presented to me a large plate of doodled eggs, sausages, bacon, and waffles. The aroma was intoxicating, just like her love. Oh, baby, that smells heavenly. Thank you. Anything for you, my love. Suddenly, a knock on the door. I knew this was coming. Oh God, is it sketchy? Oh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let you get that. Oh fuck. I opened the door to find a familiar face. The oh, fuck, Christ! Even though you announced yourself and I knew it was coming, I was still terrified. Hey! Hey? So, uh, I was wondering what you wanted to do today. I could feel a pit in my stomach. I knew I had to tell Sketchy the truth. I couldn't lead them on any longer in good conscience. In good conscience. About that, I am... I don't think we can go out anymore, Sketchy. No, please. Shh. Let me... Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this this once. Oh, I see. What happened? Didn't you enjoy our time together yesterday? Was it something I did? Was it my gross, grotesque penis face? No, no. Not at all. It's a... Uh, it's not you. It's me. What? What about you? <laughs> it's not you. It's me. I just don't like you anymore. <laughs> I just... I just think I might have feelings for someone else is all. You think? Well, that's interesting because based on our kiss yesterday, I would think you had feelings for me. It's... It's complicated is all. I changed my status on Facebook earlier. Isn't it always? True. Every relationship is complicated. Because humans are complicated and complex. Complicated doesn't always mean bad. So, that's it then. You're throwing away me to the wayside. Someone else catches your attention, so we're just done. Did this sarlacc mouth do nothing for you? Did this uh, spaghetti hair really not tickle your funny fancies? That's a harsh way of phrasing it. I mean, I was thinking we could still be friends. Yeah, don't feed me that shit like it's spaghetti on head. I wasn't born yesterday. Actually, no, you were born two days ago. I mean, I was born a day before yesterday, but that's besides the point. The point is here, and I'm over here. Enjoy your new life, cunt. Or at least, until you get bored and draw someone else up to tend to your needs. You know, I just fall in love just a little old little bit. Every day with someone new. Asshole! Hey, hey! Wait, me or your mouth? Wait! Sketchy slammed the door in my face. It hurt because I was actually 3D, so the door actually slammed straight into my nose. Ow. Boy, that was rough. You okay? Yeah, I think so. I suppose that's never an easy process. That's the first time I ever had to break up with anyone. Well, with any luck, it'll be the last time. You're with me forever! Okay, getting real Just Monica vibes from you. So, shall we eat? Sure! Days went by, and Claire and I never left the apartment. Anything we wanted was at the palm of our hands. As days became weeks, the passion and connection between us never let up. I realized what it was to feel at home with someone. Especially someone you have frequent sex with up top! That's a plus, yeah! Okay, but as the weeks became months, something strange started to happen. A bump formed on her belly, and she gave birth to a paper baby. Hey, darling, can I ask you something? Sure. What about, sweetie 2D pie? Do I, uh, do I look different to you? Nope, same as the day I drew you. Uh, I don't think so. I don't notice anything different. Yeah, neither do I. On the outside, anyway. What do you mean? You're not leaving me, are you? Don't leave me, okay? I have nobody. Okay, I don't want to go back to Sketchy. Alright, Sketchy is real fucking sketchy looking. Well, 
I took Dr. Doodle's Dapper Doddler test and it came up positive. Wait! Wait, are they pregnant? Ah, uh, come again? I'm pregnant! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, I see! Oh, load! I didn't want to tell you until I was sure. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I understand. I guess I didn't realize that was possible. I mean, we're not exactly biologically similar. I didn't even know that you had a uterus. Where is it? The rules are complicated, but it can happen. And it did. But I mean, you're a drawing. And I'm a human. We're... We're just too different. I don't know. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little stressed out about the whole situation. I mean, I never said I had a problem with it. I have always wanted to be a dad. I just think didn't think it would happen so soon. I know, like... A couple of months ago, I was actually just freely going about my world, having a great time, and suddenly I was in a paper world and never ever wanted to go back for some strange, fucked up, weird reason. I know. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. I should never have come on to you like that. Ugh, you came on me? That's fucking... <laughs> oh, the joke was there, I had to make it, okay? Chill the fuck out. <laughs> this was all a big mistake. Look, this is a shock, but... Kind of excited. Happy, even. I love you, Claire. And if there is anyone I'd be okay having a child with, it'd be you. That's sweet. But I don't feel the same. Frankly, I'm scared. Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's no telling how this kid could come out. Or actually where he would come out from. I don't have internal organs. Oh god, <laughs> you have weird little stumpy arms! <laughs> Why are they all weird looking? <laughs> or maybe they're just far back in its perspective. It may be lost on you, but the ramifications of a doodle slash mortal hybrid are too steep to take lightly. Didn't you see the new Predator movie? Shit was fucked! Mortal? Ah, uh, sorry. Human, I mean. Uh, don't worry about it. I mean, the possibilities are endless. But they are all equally terrifying. Our baby could come out really messed up. Our baby could come out like a crumpled ball of paper. And that you have to like stretch and iron out. I don't know. Maybe if we could predict. That's it. We don't have to wait and find out. <laughs> you can draw it. Wait, what? Draw our baby? How will that help? I don't even know what they would look like. You don't understand. Your imagination is what got me pregnant in the first place. I'm not sure I'm following. Wait, did I- did I imagine you pregnant? Point is, we can find out what our baby will look like through your mind! We need for you to draw our baby! Don't think! Just draw! If you do that, we'll know what we're getting ourselves into and can decide from whether- from there whether we can have the child. Whoa! That's a lot of pressure to put on this drawing. Can we talk about it first? Shut up! I don't have time to explain the mechanics of our world to you, but unless you draw our baby right the fuck now, we could be all in danger so long, so it's this brilliant time we just fucking do it! Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Draw your baby! <laughs> Science gone too far. This is bordering on genetic modification. <laughs> oh, cute. I didn't mean for this little line to hang down, but it somehow makes it look like a little baby. <laughs> Um, also, uh, devil horns. <laughs> that's, that's the baby's bicep. <laughs> yes! Oh wait, no, that's, I need, I need to give you like little apple arms. You need to have, you need to be fucking jacked. <laughs> this is so fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's my baby. <laughs> Demon baby! Devil baby! Well, what do you think? You told me to draw our baby, so here it is. No! What? What's wrong? No, it's not possible! You drew it wrong! Yeah, that's it, you drew it wrong! I thought you said it couldn't be wrong because of my ima- SHUT UP! SHUT UP! I'M THINKING! Okay. Alright, trouble in paradise. Did you just tell me what's wrong? Nothing is wrong! Nothing I tell you! The only thing that's wrong is that it's 7 p.m. Construct- It's 7 p.m. construct time. And we haven't had dinner yet. 
I'll get right on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. Claire wasn't thinking straight. Maybe the stress of pregnancy had just gotten to her. I decided to let her have some space, so I kicked her into the sun. Okay. Well, while you make dinner, I think I'm just gonna go out and hang out in bed. I'll meet you there, okay? Sounds good, Sugar Plum! I bring you our dinner once it's ready! Filled with cyanide. What was that? Oh, nothing! I just said I'd bring our dinner! With the poison. It still sounds like you're saying, just go to sleep! Okay. Don't trust you. Hours pass, and Claire was still working away in the kitchen. I was starting to worry. Should I go talk to her? Comfort her, perhaps? But before I could get up, I heard Claire's footsteps approaching. Oh, darling! Dinner is ready! I don't like this. I made your favorite! Fruit, that is! Oh god, everything got weird. Oh god! No! Time to shove it down your goddamn throat! It was when I saw that what was in Claire's hand. She had a knife. Shit, shit, shit. I narrowly moved out of the way as she lunged and started stabbing at my spot in bed. I'm sorry, darling. It's the only way. We've committed a crime against nature, and this is the only solution. I had to think fast. Find something to defend myself. Or better yet, draw something to defend myself. Draw a weapon. <laughs> this got off the rails so quick. <laughs> Okay, what do I what do I want to draw as a weapon? I draw a fucking Gauss rifle or a, a rail gun. Um, yeah, let's let's draw a rail gun. So you go down like this, you have it down and then across. So this is it. This is this is where like the electricity will be, like beaming up through the top. <coughs> you know, kind of like Zarya's gun in Overwatch or Fortune in Metal Gear Solid Two. She had a rail gun. That was badass. Um, and it's gonna shoot projectiles at a high velocity. Um, in my case, it's just gonna shoot insults at them until they feel bad about themselves. Um, what would, what would the bottom of my rail gun look like? Come down like that. I don't fucking know. S sure. That, that's, that's my rail gun. That, there's gonna be a handle in there. Uh, there's gonna be some, some knobs and dialies up here. Beep, beep. Sure, perfect. <laughs> and it should say, um, it should say, I can't fucking write anything on it. Okay, let's just pretend it says jacked on it. This is alien writing because I got it from a predator. This is the second predator reference I've made. <laughs> oh, I couldn't draw a gun. It's a weapon to stab her with. <laughs> I stabbed you with my teeny tiny gauss rifle. Ah! How, how could you? I f feel so cold. As she passed out on the floor, I grabbed her and began weeping. I tried everything I could to save her that night, but no amount of drawn paramedics or medical supplies seemed to help. She seemed almost determined to die. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? I never did figure out how to leave this place, and no other doodle was as knowledgeable about the rules of this place. There was no one left to send me back. I had accepted my fate and simply decided to live out the rest of my life in isolation. Alien isolation, I drew up a perfect replica of the game. No one could replace Claire, and I was damn near terrified to try. I don't know what she was so afraid of, but I didn't want to give myself an opportunity to find out. Until one day. Until one day? Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home? I didn't recognize that voice, but it sounded oddly familiar. I caved into my curiosity and opened the door. It's gonna be sketchy. Oh, God, it's my, it's my baby. <laughs> How did you? I don't know. Hello, father. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was our baby. My eyes welled up as I immediately embraced my long lost child. Is it? Is it really you? I thought... I thought you... Yes, father, it is me. Although my mother died before giving birth, Dr. Doodle was able to rescue me before it was too late. They thought it would be best if they didn't say anything, given what you had gone through. I... I... I can't believe it. It's okay, father. I am here now. 
as I held my child in my arms. I suddenly felt a sharp pain in my back. No! Ah! Shh! Easy now. I am here. I am here. <coughs> I'm allergic to being stabbed! Ah! In horror, I looked behind me to see my child had plunged my own makeshift weapon into my backside! You stabbed me in the ass with my own fucking railgun? This is for my mother, you son of a bitch. Wh why? Why indeed. Goodbye, father. As I collapsed on the floor, darkness came over me. But what little vision I had left. The last thing I saw was my child lifting a pencil out of my pocket. Then silence. Nothing more. But silence and darkness. WHAT THE FUCK?! What the hell, man?! Who the fuck is this game?! Jesus Christ! So did the baby take the pencil? Because the baby is half human, half drawing, they knew to- <laughs> They knew to exploit the game? <laughs> that was fucked! But also amazing! <laughs> the fact that I got to draw my own baby? Oh man, that was good. I wonder if I would have ended up a Claire then, no matter what I did. I think that that's kind of where the game would go. It, it felt like no matter what I picked, it didn't really matter, but... What a neat little game! What a cool idea! I would like to see a, a full game like this. Like, I know that this was kind of on a set path, but could you imagine an actual... Like, proper full-on dating game? Or full-on, like, gra or visual novel kind of game? Like Doki Doki or a Dream Daddy type of game? Where you actually draw your own dates and everything? I mean, people would mess around with it, but... Some people are very talented. Imagine if you could like import your own drawings and everything. That'd be cool. Um, but this this was fun. I like this a lot. A nice little one-off type of game to kind of just, <laughs> I don't know, have fun with. I'm not the best at drawing, so I'm sure other people have played this and come up with far more creative ideas. And now that I know how the game plays, you could probably create like a really fun weapon or a really fun baby. <laughs> oh, well that was nice. I like that a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And high face up road! Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys and I will see all you dudes! Let's be out! Father, it is me, your child. Please give money. <laughs>